Hey guys, Woody here with Express Screen. Uh, for today's video, we recently had a uh, question from one of our customers. Uh, they're having trouble printing one of their images on their QS200. Uh, they're using 120 mesh. Uh, it was just a lot of fine half tones, a lot of good detail. So we told them we would work on it, see what we could come up with to help them make that happen. And uh, yeah, just kind of highlighting uh, that customer service. You know, we uh, do our best to help them out, help all of our customers out wherever they need it. Uh, whether it be with one of our thermal screen makers themselves or actually up on the press. And so here what I've done is uh, we're using the GoCo Pro 100 for this. Uh, it has the same DPI as the 200. We just don't have a 200 ready for demos right now. So uh, we're, using the t we're using the 100. Uh, as I said, similar or the exact same DPI actually. They're both at 600 DPI. So we uh, changed the mesh. This is a uh, 200 mesh we're using. Uh, we changed the lines per inch up to that to about 75, and I think we're getting right where we need it to be. This is a uh, Plastisol ink I'm printing with. We tested it with both Plastisol and water-based. Uh, we thought potentially the issue could have been coming from not enough ink getting through with the water-based. And here's the result, or not enough ink getting through with the Plastisol she's using, but Here's the Plastisol print that we did. Uh, looks good. It's got all those details that she wanted in there. And then we've got our water-based screen right next to us right here. And so I went ahead, we uh, actually started with water-based. I saw it came out well with the water-based and uh, we figured we should try it with the Plastisol as well. That's uh, the kind of ink that she has and she's using. So uh, if we figure that the Plastisol work. Hopefully uh, that saves her a trip to giving some ink. And here's that water-based. As you can see, it's uh, letting more ink through, coming out a good bit darker than the Plastisol. So yeah, that's uh, just a quick demo of, uh, you know, how you can troubleshoot your system, uh, check things out, make sure uh, you're using the right equipment, the right supplies and everything. And yeah, just kind of a uh, you know, a testament to uh, what we like to do for our customers. If uh, they have any problems, we tell them to always call us with anything that they're having an issue with, that they're having difficulties fixing, you know. We always do our best to help them out, so uh, definitely give us a call if you're interested in one of our systems. Uh, they clearly make uh, some great halftone prints, and uh, they can, they're a really great, quick and easy way to screen print. So uh, definitely reach out to us if you're having any technical problems with your systems, if you're one of our customers. Or if you're a potential prospect, we'd love to tell you more about them. Y'all have a good one.